All right, it is time for another edition of Heat Wave Multi Blood Time for me on online tournaments. We got PS4 and PC tournaments coming right up. PS4 starting us off, PC coming a little bit later, and we are on the grind. Combo Breaker is less than a week away. Big uh, tournament hosting the variety of games but quite the stacked uh, multiple type of meter bracket and uh, some of the participants that signed up today tonight uh will be there so uh interested to see them get their grind on and uh excited to see it all unfold but we are here at twitch.tv slash pro streams gg or maybe on youtube if you're uh you know watch this on youtube like comment subscribe all that good stuff what's up good cracking my name is Kraken atkins mr anime wait what what's my tag now Oh, the Mr. Worldwide of anime games. <laughs> I'm tired too, Paul. Paul is on the mic with me. We are, we are some tired individuals. How's it going, Paul? <laughs> Doing great. I'm just trying to keep the energy up. Come a breaker right around the corner. It's going to be exciting times to see everybody out there. It's been a while since I've been to a tournament <laughs> outside of the weekly. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure as is the case for mad people, you know, it's really cool. Uh, looking at Smash GG histories for some combo breaker entrance and like the last tournament that they ever signed up for was like in 2019. It's just like, damn, <laughs> like <laughs> the anticipation waiting for uh, that next offline event. It's finally here. And uh, yeah, it'll be great. And I mean, uh, I guess that's a note to everybody. Me, me and Paul will be a combo breaker. So like if you've just been frequently, you know, watching Heat Wave, love what we do around here, come say hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll be out there. Plan and also T.O. and as always, got a T.O. everywhere we go, it seems like, but it's gonna be fun times. Yes, yes. But yeah, we got a PS4 set up. Uh, about like 13 people here for uh, PS4 Heat Wave, not bad. Um, first stream match that I've called is going to be Koopy Chaos and Mick. So Koopy joining the fray. Uh, definitely somebody that we've known of from earlier editions of Heat Wave. Uh, now and then they just kind of make some uh, mystic appearances. <laughs> it's like a little bit less frequent, but uh, always strong performances uh, whenever they do stop by. So interested to see what they're bringing to the table. Uh, previously, uh, we've known Koopy to uh, mainly play Vlov, but uh, just in terms of their entire repertoire, uh, they have a ton of characters that they kind of cycle through. So it'll be interesting to see what they bring to the table. And uh, Mick should be coming right up, hopefully. They got the ping. But yeah, you guys all know the vibes and what it's all about here at uh, Heat Wave. We do have a match arena, so you can uh, check that out. Be sure to use those uh, sponsor codes uh, if you haven't already for the free 25 cent donations to the pot. We have a $50 pot bonus going for uh, PS4 and PC tonight. And it looks like we are ready to get started. So yeah, it'll be arc versus arc. However, <laughs> one of them is a red arc. It's not quite a mirror match. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Heat wave PS4, number 12. Already starting out strong with the overhead is Mick. Okay, not getting too uh, nice of a knockdown there, but I at least was able to catch. Uh... <laughs> what? What? Am, what are we? Refer what, okay, what? What did erase my sign up in the Smash Co GG? Koopy they, Chaos. they signed up as Koopy Chaos, so I'm calling them Koopy Chaos. <laughs> that is what I said on on stream too. Koopy Chaos. That's what he's gonna be known. All oh. right, it's Koopy Chaos. <laughs> Finally got a. Knocked down in the corner, but Mick just DPs right out, taking the first round. I don't really get to get anything started, could be chaos, but here we go. Fireball and a super. Right, oh, okay. Little frame kill setup, it looks like. And we're gonna go back to the setup again. Nice, space the heat automatically. Yeah, that was beautiful Oki. I mean, Red Arc is just like so uh, kind of all over the place with her movement, having that nice timed setup to be heat safe, but uh, still put the pressure on. Good stuff from Koopy with a fantastic recovery, uh, firing back with a perfect no less. I mean, those two first rounds is Mick is trying to close in the distance and would be Chaos trying to get things started from for far range into a lot of setups here. We're going into another one. 
All right, should work. Koopy is coming out on top, going for quite some time without actually taking any damage. Uh, you know, coming out from that perfect and working on yet another one. When it comes to this time around, the moon drive activation, scoop out the air, making trouble. Oh, couldn't stabilize that combo. Nice maneuvering there. Getting under, getting the hit here. One more, and there it is. Gonna get the low. Koopy Chaos. One game. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, a good recovery uh, from the uh, first game that we saw there. And just really kind of taking the fight over to um, Mick. Good navigation, good just screen control and presence. All around, solid stuff. Mick is actually going to the character select. I can't recall any secondaries that they played. I've always known them as arc so i'm interested to see what they go towards maybe just a different color you know, that previous patch did come with the new colors so they're both a character select all right for koopy i better just be okay it's just a new color <laughs> I wonder where Mick is going with this. Taking some time. Oh, it's just a different color arc. <laughs> Have to make sure the wardrobe fence here. I respect it. Different color. A power up. All right, here we go. Okay, Mick finding a little bit of that um, momentum that they were able to find in the opening round for the set. Just taking the fight to Koopy. Yeah, good Oki there. Oh my god, the late air dash catch on the exact moment that Koopy jumped. Mick really pounding on the rushdown. Triple jump conversion thanks to that moon drive. Falling double overhead, gets the hit. Koopy Chaos on a sliver, but as priority right now. Nice BC right at the end there. No cash out. Ooh. Oh, for the tricky shield bait. Got a meter? Are you heating or just going in? All right. Playing it safe. Going for plus frames after the double fireball into the super. Okay, Mick still has the life lead. Uh, wow, just the run of DP? Are you kidding? <laughs> Playing with his heart. Oh, trying to charge up some thing. The armor against the moon scale. Oh, the drop, but a uh, pick up right after. <laughs> there was a lot of things happening at the last five seconds there. Yeah, this is a bit overwhelming. Mick had such a solid uh, start to that round. This kind of ended up going off the rails. It couldn't stop uh, Koopy Chaos momentum that they had built. Oh my god, boot to the face with the moon drive activation to make sure they get the confirmation. Ours. Your. Oh, 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 no. oh, man. I feel like that may have been an attempted OS. Just like they held the D. <laughs> <laughs> I, midway through the statement, I was just like, don't, don't. And it, it just, all right, reverse hard drive. <laughs> Oh, did get punished for the whiff heat. Fatal counter. Mick drops combo. That's a heartbreaker. Oh my god, drop combos both ways. Oh, yeah. Koopy didn't have a like any moon gates to actually interact there. So a nice two VC found there for Mick. Mick looking to tie up the set. Oh, run up throw just right to be. What happened? What is happening? Hello? Ah, uh, we like. Oh, just timed out altogether. Are you I. The room is gone. Oof.
All right. Um, I guess we're just gonna run it straight back. Uh, yeah, I guess we're I guess we're just going back into it. That's the best that we can do. Okay. All right. So Koopy Chaos, up one. Okay. Fortunate desync, but. All right. So Koopy Chaos has been shielding those overheads now. Nick was able to get some openings early on in the first game, but looks like I didn't have to switch some stuff up here. DP's been working though. Nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a very nice 5A Fatal Camera. Fortunately, couldn't get a huge payout for it, but. Okay. Not committing to the shield, so blocking that setup. Chaos though. Nice tech. Oh, the 7 BC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just stuck in the corner prison right now. But off the throw from the attempted gap closer from uh, Koopy. Now they are going to be able to find themselves in the corner. Mick looking for some momentum. Has some cash to spend. Full moon drive and full magic circuit available. This next hit could be fatal depending on what we go for. Gets the 2 BC, the landing, but didn't just go straight into a super. It works out. Meter positive. Beautiful conversion there from Mick. Meter neutral. No meter spent because no meter gain because no meter spent. But it's fine. Yeah. No, it's. I meant meter positive as it was a positive decision to not spend any of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so really good stuff for Mick. Optimizing that combo. Not needing the, um, the bar there. So now a lot of meter stock. Getting a good counter hit here. Again. Some bets on when Mick is gonna use a meter. 50 seconds. He's gonna spend on the meter. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Here it is. No meter spent at all. <laughs> None needed. I, I meter is overrated. I would have lost that bet, man. <laughs> <laughs> it going up 1 1, though. Yeah, I mean, in the previous DC match, it felt like Mick was uh, getting a little bit of a solid, better footing um, in terms of the overall matchup. So. Uh, Excited to see this go down into the wire. You know, Mick is somebody that, like, I would have to check the history. I feel like they've joined, like, every heat wave. Like, it's just a name that I always see in the bracket. I'm very familiar with the uh, arc, so. Um, glad to see them going distance here with Koopy. Definitely. Koopy Chaos, though. Getting in the corner. Both moon drives active, and we armored through with the elbow. Of course. Oh, no. Left the OS, but not fully punished. Chaos though has the corner though. Armor on the overhead. The knockdown. Very, very uh, conservative Oki there. Just trying to bait out anything, whether it be a DP or a heat activation. But Mick sitting there wide open. Could be taking the opportunity to rush down. And now they're one round away from being able to take the set. Mick is still just a, such a <laughs> threatening force with that magic circuit. <laughs> Nice. Have a 7 BC. Oh my god, the elbow. Going in. I mean, all this meter, you can definitely start to utilize the frame traps and the kind of safe frame traps off of um, arcs. Okay. I mean, back it up. Whatever. We're good. Here. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. And I mean, it's it's one of these things where once Arc is in, you have so many options to just cycle. And although Mick hasn't been utilizing the the meter to control or can continue the offense, still a threat. Yeah. Oh, that was almost really sick. <laughs> Fred Arc is gonna be able to land and then uh, re jump off of the jump C. My God. Mick has been um, mixing up between the charge overhead. Oh my god, <laughs> Koopy that's Chaos. Heartbreaker. No, that, that's a 6C, right? I know it has armor properties. Is it full armor or is it like uh, only... Is, is it vulnerable to anything? It's 6B. Um, it has full armor. I don't know if it's low. I don't believe it does. 
And finally, we do see the meter getting spent for the win. Nick going up to one over chaos. Indeed, indeed, mixing. Only, only spin the meter if it's to kill. Final game, final round, only then. Not even, even. All right, well, good stuff to make. Moving on in the bracket, they'll be fighting Lucy next. Uh, have some other matches reported here. Looks like Abister got the win over Z Note, and Wowza with the 2 0 victory over Y'all. Easy. Uh, there's only one more, one more round one match to do, and we're going to get to it right now. It's going to be uh, Her Flipper and uh, Medusa. Her Flipper has the Saber locked in, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, Medusa plays Vlav. That's what I remember, unless something changed before then. I wonder how much Air Flipper has, uh, how much matchup knowledge she has. Like, I feel like uh, this matchup might be a little bit tough for Saber, but... Indeed, they're both locked in, ready to go. Shilling for Simple Gear. I still have not seen a single episode. But yeah, let's see what we have here. I'm wondering if this will be going on to fight a uh, so sick Nash fan. Uh, Medusa couldn't join us a couple weeks ago. They were signed up and then had to DQ. Um, but I definitely remember Vlav having a lasting impression from the previous team that they were in. Uh, just really solid control. And I mean, the thing I'm noticing right now is I really like that cover combination, actually. <laughs> the purple is really nice. So far, Air Flipper is doing very well against. Wow. Okay, we, we have some answers here. So Air Flipper looks like they have the matchup knowledge. Oh, yeah, possibly an opportunity to shield there if Air Flipper was ready for it. A little bit of a gap, but I mean, uh, yeah, Medusa has popped so many of their resources in terms of the heat and now moon drive. Uh, really kind of at a deficit for the remainder of this round. Oh my god, yeah, it's a potential round closing situation from her flipper off of these hits. Just can't quite find the conversions necessary. So far range. What a hit. Oof. Yeah, mid combo heat conversion. Oh my god, I would say that that was a fantastic idea there from Medusa. The amount of life regained and damage done to her flipper completely turned this round on its head. Medusa able to make the comeback off of one lone 5M. That was ridiculous. All right, but a similar start from what we saw from the previous round, her flipper just uh, able to take that, take the fight to Medusa, just can't quite find the closing sequences, able to put a cap on it. But now Medusa, the shield to get out of the corner, charged up. Now we're at the Vlob range, the Vlob game is going on. Nice air shield, gamble, but Medusa getting the hit here. Back to the corner you go. Are you gonna make it back in? You don't. You're gonna get hit. Ah. Uh, Air Flipper did had such a good first round and then the second one just playing the blob. Fortunately. Yeah, the tr the trend I noticed from both rounds is like her flipper finds those opening interactions just because in the pre round start game they are matching where Medusa's going and then just playing the up close game immediately, right? But um, Medusa is very uh, committed to once they reset the neutral, just playing it super slow, as you probably should against Saber, it just has a lot of in general, and they execute that game plan very, very well. Yeah, I expect it. Yeah, I mean, you got to go for the uh, shields of those interactions. You don't want to rely on the uh, Vlog 3C anti air. Okay. Another heat. That means we're out. It's going to be really easy to build up that bar again just to be safe and have something on defense. But already, Medusa does have Moon Drive if something happens. What a quick reset. That was super cheeky. Yeah, that's one of those situations that, like, yeah, it's susceptible to shield, but are you are you gonna be ready for it? <laughs> like, oh, what a catch! 
Oh, oh that's a complete summer hit though. <gasps> Woo, the stuff, but I can't confirm off these counter hits. Her flipper making me very nervous. Run up throw. Not enough. The heat is here. Oh, but the shield punished. Air flipper. That was a tense game because Air Flipper did have that situation in the first game and it got turned around. So it must feel pretty good to be able to close that out this time. The shield. Oh my goodness. The options. Ugh. All right, into the corner. Charge up. Uh, wh what happened? Because, <laughs> like, there wasn't a. Uh, I can't imagine. I, I don't know what her flipper did post shield right there that got fiddle countered. Not too sure. But we're in this game that we know Vlad wants to play. Medusa doesn't have to do anything, doesn't have to really commit to too much. Does get the first hit here, but a long way to go. Gets, Gets the, the knockdown. Oh my god, yeah, if you're her flipper right now, like, I'm guessing that in your head, you're like, I have to do a little bit more damage before I'm willing to spend some magic strike on like a heat or even a super at this point. This is such a tall order, but her flipper doing a fantastic job on it thus far. Being right so many times, and we're getting in the range where one hit might be able to do it. Gets the low! The confirmation! Does her flipper have this? Genius yes. from the magic pixel! Basically reverse perfect is what we saw there. That was insane! What great gameplay and presence of mind. Just solid. Going in, betting the right bet at the right time and getting the hit. Air flipper. We're gonna back 1-1. One, one. Man, that, that took a lot of just like mental endurance to be playing at that low life against a character like Vlav that could just basically chip you out with like the fireballs and everything, bring it all the way back. Fantastic there from her flipper. Going into this round three though, Medusa getting the uh, some uh, uncharacteristic aggression, right? This is like some of the more aggressive style of Medusa that we have not seen throughout this set. The payoff of it is looking fantastic as it looks like they're going to be ca able to cash in a perfect. What a way to play this. You're, you're just playing kind of the slow game the whole time, and then you do have this really great offense to back it up. And here we're getting another start. We do utilize the moon drive there, but it doesn't matter. We get the hit. We're going to get the moon drive back with the super here, I believe. Yes. And we're like one touch. <laughs> That's a touch. That's the touch <laughs> we're looking for. Oh man, fantastic match. Medusa gonna be able to take a 2-1 over her flipper. But uh yeah, solid effort and hustle there from her flipper to bring it up to this point. Cause uh that was Yeah, that was a little crazy game too. Yeah, I mean Air Flipper had so many chances with the slow of Lav play, and then Medusa was like, I don't wanna give you a chance to play. Let me just run this mix. Can you block? And it was really good, solid offense. You were saying how Medusa just wants, and Vlav in general wants to play the the slow game, the the small, low risk, low reward type of game. I mean, I want to say low reward for Vlav. <laughs> 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 but yeah, turn it, turning it all upside down, saying Vlav can rush down to going the power of Vlav, both both sides of the spectrum. Yep, yep, yeah, that was just fantastic play from Medusa. Looking forward to seeing how they fare in the bracket. They will be fighting so sick Nash fan. Uh, now it looks like they're going to coordinate that. Um, but we are going to be moving over to uh, Lunar and Wowza. Let me go ahead and call them up. Uh, and then after that, we will be having not Incubus, Omni Scythe. <laughs> uh, Abister will be up after. So yeah, Lunar, Heat Wave regular. Uh, definitely has some Heat Wave titles under their belt. Ed Apostle Noel, 
bringing it to the forefront for NA and has been quite the tear and signed up for Combo Breaker. So uh, very excited to see uh, how they perform there. You know, we saw the Texas Showdown uh, showing up and showing out, uh, getting the top two placing second, if I'm not mistaken. And so they're going to be going up against Wowza, who's also a Texas uh, Showdown in the uh, top eight placing. So very two uh, very capable competitors. But yeah, Luna just kind of slowing things down here. Wowza playing almost like a Super Mario Bros type of play style, but <laughs> there it is. Pulls out the knife eventually. It was just jumping, navigating over the projectiles. Picked their spot perfectly. Respecting it, the moon drive is there, but finally she'll be getting started. Does steal the corner for the left, right. Ooh! Low shield! Alright, popping it yet again. There we go, the cross up. And there it is, Lunar able to bring it back. Was uh, starting that game uh, kind of cornered, but was able to fight their way out of it and put Wowza under pressure. And we already know what happens when we get that knockdown, set up shop. It is quite hard to defend from there. Yeah, it's kind of smart of Lunar just to wait out the moon drive, and then once that's gone, the Noel's offense has no moon drive at available. That's kind of the way out usually. Now you have to bet with your life. Right. Here, slow game. Very slow game. Yeah, I guess it's like Lunar doesn't really feel compelled to throw fireballs. I mean, like, they have the life lead, whereas, like, Wowza is just, like, j just saying that they'll shield anything. That I don't know. I maybe they're just going to bring it down to a last-minute scramble? The pressure's on Wowza, though. I, I feel like that's the case. Oh, my. <laughs> you Congratulations! You played yourself! <laughs> oh, no. We Bruh, this sucks! You only have... You only have 30 seconds to turn this around. This is actually really hard. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Heat pop. Oh, my God. Dinner does oh? have a lot of... Wait, we can get a level 3 here. Okay. All according to Keikaku. Massive, lively. Looter still has the heat available, though. And we drive. This is going to be rough. Oh, what? The trade combo. Wowza's a genius. I'll never <laughs> doubt the Wowza genius ever again. <laughs> IQ level 9,000. Not a combo here, but getting oh, getting another chance and dropping that as well. Wowza and Blow. This is like the first game. No moon drive. And Lunar fully stocked. One hit, and here it is. Right into the Oki. Doesn't get it. 2B getting the IED, of course, Shiki. Alright, we're getting the plus frames. Wanna get this started. Wowza does have Moon Drive, so. No. I think he's dead. <laughs> I was like, four bars? I wasn't sure what the route would be to yeah, get the four bar yeah. but as soon as I saw the first super, I was like, well, that's Arc Drive afterwards. Didn't have a chance to to spend the meter that he gained on the moon drive. Or taking that match. I mean that that second round was pretty interesting, but I don't know if he can do that two games in a row. Yeah, it like it it was just one of those catch you off guard is this really happening type of moments that could happen in, like a tournament bracket, but like it's kind of hard to catch lightning in a bottle twice in that way and like like expect that. Uh, same approach from your opponent because you know adaptations happen and it's just like you know it, it, no no one wants to risk it all on the last thirty seconds of a multi blood match like <laughs> I mean maybe I don't <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now I'm good <laughs> Look, you're looking at Shiki Shiki is the dice roller of the game man <laughs> he well, wants he do, he do be having the dice. <laughs> <laughs> But right now, he is guessing for his live moon drive. Those throw attacks have been getting ID. Still alive? Wow, 
Wow, it's a big chillin'. But I mean, it's not the same cost as what we saw before. You are cornered. <laughs> There's two totems in front of you, my guy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was a interesting last moment. There's the totems on top. Wowza went right in the middle of them and just bet for the shield and Lunar was like, nah, I'm just gonna throw. <laughs> what a call out. And now this is a situation where you don't want to get touched as Wowza. No moon drive active. Oh my god! Pushed to the corner just based off of pure presence and then as soon as they try to move forward, just met with the totem slam. Good luck! Here we go. Nice. Oh my gosh. This might be enough. I feel like it's gonna be. And the pop, and there it is. Lunar gonna be able to get the 2 0 victory over Wowza. And yeah, I mean, just looked clean all together. Tough for Wowza to kind of figure out a way to navigate around the neutral. Besides that one match, right? they were just absolutely a certified genius. I, I can never question um, their intelligence. I, I, I'll, I'll never do it again. But it was not enough to pull through this time around for the set. <laughs> So yeah, that sets up our first two qualifiers for top eight. We have Lunar and Lucy on the top side of the bracket. Uh, bottom side of the Sosic Nash fan and Medusa are playing right now. And uh, we're going to be moving on to the uh, last match for top eight qualifier uh, in the winner's side, which is going to be Omniscythe and Abister. Abister, Miyako from the beginning and uh, looking like they're going to be sticking to the Miyako. Another Miyako player that we had that was uh, playing uh, her in the beginning was Omniscythe, but Omniscythe has uh, recently made a, I don't know if it's an addition or a full on change, but they have been on more powered CL as of late. And it's been looking really solid, like uh, just in terms of like the long range gameplay and uh, what Omniscythe has been able to bring to the table with that character, it looks uh, quite annoying to deal with. All right, but we are good to go. Omniscythe joining with that powered CL. Uh, ironically, like, I'm not sure if we've seen uh, the Omniscythe versus Aberster match of just like the, uh, in the powered CL versus Miyako, so. Definitely the Miyako mirror match, but not this one, I think. Yeah. What a catch out of the air. Oh my gosh, fake safe jump into the low to bait out the fatal counter. Sheesh! That's a cross up. Nice. That's gonna be it. Yeah, wonderfully executed just using the freeze frame to activate the moon drive and guarantee the punish on the uh, shielded moon skill. Abster taking a very convincing game one. Round one, excuse me. Word. Playing on fire right now. Being right here. And a punish on the shield, eh? That's the secret Miyako tech. Shield DC in the air dash. And that's gonna be a quick two rounds. Avister taking game one. Yeah, just looking extremely solid. Like, they're just rotation of options um, on the. Oki, like in terms of uh, Omniscythe's shield uh, responses and just really everything was just like borderline perfect. That was a very, very nice game there from Abster on all angles. Nice little profile here. Dart for Omniscythe. Nice, also as a whiff. A little low. Okay, no knockdown, but it was able to chase down the air to air.
Okay, yanked down. Oh my god, timing the setup and able to catch the back bash with that. Omnicide firing back with a perfect. Is it here? Oh man. A couple drops here and Omnicide taking full advantage. The corner, Abister goes. It's the corpse push as well. Woo! Ooh, actually punishes it. Doesn't get the hit, but picks up afterwards. Oh, okay. Yeah, didn't get a knockdown, but again, just meeting with those buttons. That's a kind of a nice perk of power TL, right? Like even in these situations where Omniside is not getting a knockdown from their combos, um, PCL's range is so far to where like if you're teching in the air, um, the amount of ground that she has to cover to actually like uh enforce the idea of an air to air towards you or air to ground type of conversion is not much like her range is just so good for those kind of uh what would maybe turn into a scramble situation for others just turned into like a, a a hit for her regardless oof okay punish from the cross up i'm just needs to be careful has that Magic Scepter working for a potential heat that would maybe be necessary to bring this round back, but no Abyssin able to find the jump in. And yeah, the pacing of these games have been really fast, so whether it be uh, Omniscythe or Abyssin that's on the aggressive. It's very explosive play styles coming from the both of them. Alright, the buttons for Abyssin. Has been drive activated! Oh, was definitely caught in between a very hard place there. Um, Omnicide drops the combo though! Oh my! Please be very careful. The shield be fatal has four bars on deck. Do we have what it takes? Beautiful conversion, my gosh. Slam down into the arc drive. Bang! That will do it, Omnicide. Going to be able to get the round. We're tying it up here. But yeah, Omnicide kind of low on the magic circuit at Moondrive. Abster getting this initial hit is definitely a nice start to the sequence. A very dangerous Miyako right there. Be able to make the invincible reversal with. Oh, the uh oh. Three. One more touch. There it is. And Abyssir is going to take it. it. I was, yeah, whoever got the offense started, kept it going, and that was the name of the game. Crazy fast. Great stuff from Abyssir. Really amazing stuff from Omniset. Well, seeing a lot of developments on both sides. Abyssir sticking with the Miyako, even after the nerfs as well. Loving when I pull up a couple more matches. All right, yeah, so our winner's uh, side just went by pretty fast. Like, we already have winner's side top eight to deuce. Lunar versus Lucy and Sosic Nashman versus Abister. Uh, we're still on, like, losers round two. Uh, so we're going to make our way through that. Now we're seeing <laughs> Koopy Chaos fighting against his old character Vav and Medusa, who we just saw earlier. Little Vlav into the hyper aggressive flop again. Let's see how Koopy Chaos handles his character. 
tricky stuff. And we just are respecting it. Yeah, it's just staying on top, getting Medusa, keeping him in the corner. What a setup to bait out the moon skill. It's shield punish. Could be chaos. Starting with the perfect. Playing this mid range with the, the, the 5C a couple times, and Medusa finally pushing his own buttons. And now we're here, long range, but. Yeah, Red Arc does have the Moon Skill Fireball, which is quite fast. Now we got the corner. Corner combo. And kill setup into another. I don't think this is going to kill. It's very... Oh, we do get the, the punish. Oh no! Drop the combo. Nice tech here. Still blocking in the corner for so long and finally it gets opened up at the end. Medusa not giving it getting a chance to to get the Vlav game plan going. The chaos. Going the power of Red Arc, being able to go toe to toe against Vlav. Alright, but Medusa getting to the first hit. Have a lot of screen space behind as well, but 7 BC on Red Arc. You know what I want to do. In the overhead, but here we're in the corner. This is where Kippy Chaos got a lot of damage going. Getting pushed out, and Medusa getting a hit. This is looking really good for Medusa. Nice. Just backs away from the Shield B. Yeah, Flob does do the stomp at the same time as Red Arc. It is going to be going to Blob's favor. There we go, Medusa. Closing out that round. Nice hit out of the air. You jump over. You know Red Arc wants to chase. Get a hit. Put it on the full screen. Red Arc, though, has level 3. What a... <laughs> I think that was supposed to be the DP super of anything, but turns out not punished. Ringoki, instant heat though, nice air grab, we're still in the corner. Again, Ringoki, and this time commits the air sh uh, stand shield. Still in the corner, getting a lot of repressure off of the teleport stuff. Nice. Yeah, still sitting on four bars. I think that could have been a level three. Maybe not enough to kill, so we're not spending it just quite yet. But this is going to be really close. Bloody. A lot of life here. 7 BC. No more meter. We do to get a corner grab. Not enough to kill. One more of those is going to do it. Finally oh. pushing a button, and that is going to be a punish. Okay, double moon drive activation. What a tag, ready for the run up throw, but the shield A on the fireball, Medusa. Got to be able to get game one. Those are some tense sequences at the end there. Oh, it's 1-1, one, one. excuse me. 1-1. Excuse me. Yeah, the fireball is really fast. The, the moon skill fireball is really fast, but if you do it too close, especially if you're in moon drive, it's a field for sure. The chaos, though. Already getting some pressure started. The now T2. The stomp. Gonna be winning out. We're playing Vlav. A half charge. Hitting Koopy Chaos, reacting to it. All right, with the knockdown, we got the safe jump. No, we faked it. Was hoping that Koopy would be up backing. Gonna be caught with the whiff punish for attempting to go for the up fireball. And now Koopy 
Why is she? <laughs> that such a tricky frame kill setup. And we do get the overhead. Now we have the corner setups. <laughs> Taking the ring Oki there. Nice heat. That yeah. was so good. It's Into Arc so Drive? Fast. Oh my god, no, they have everything. <laughs> Might as well. Make sure you kill. You're in such a bad spot, Medusa though. Closing it out, getting the combo. Ooh. They're swinging. Uh oh. Okay, that's a good initial hit for Medusa to find. To try to build some magic circuit and put some uh, lasting implications on the rest of this round. Koopy though. Oh my gosh, the heat activation. Not allowing for any momentum here for Koopy. And stuck in the corner. This is actually a really dangerous situation for Koopy to be in. Despite the uh, blood heat available. Okay, yeah. Ready for the charge 60. I would expect a, a fellow Vlog player to be. But caught off the counter poke. Has a bar available, spins it, charging up, threatening it. This is so, yeah, no, that's a blob archangel. But... All options covered for full screen at all times. <laughs> oh, Koopy, <laughs> you've done that to everybody else. Oh man, it's such a rough sp spot to be in though. You don't really want to deal with it. And you're put into this full screen situation with so much bar to work with. You just want to get your life back. And no, that is what love to happen. Taking that two one could be. Or two versus also. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, this is a uh, top eight. Oh. All right, I already called it, so we'll do it. <laughs> I didn't realize that the, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, wait, is it? Do I know how to count? Yeah, this is top eight. Okay, yeah, we'll do her flipper Wilds, and then we'll go all over to the winner side. But um, yeah, y'all easy and Medusa, they're gonna be playing off stream her flipper Wilds coming up right now uh, for the first match of top eight here. If if Wilds is gonna queue up, so. I can't stand y'all. Some of y'all. Not all y'all, but some of y'all can't stand y'all. Y'all know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Always giving me a hard time. Uh, Medusa took it. All right, so her flipper previously, I mean, we saw them on stream uh, in their initial match, and uh, her flipper versus Medusa, really down to the wire. Amazing gameplay there from her flipper, so not surprised to see them uh, work through the loser's bracket into this top eight. Uh, Wowza had a little bit of a rough call with Lunar, but, you know, doing the uh, rifle thing as well, working their way to this top eight. And popping a lot of the resources early to get a solid life lead, about half of her flipper's life gone. Whew. Yeah, the armor's still here. Getting a lot of openings off of this. I've uh, something. Uh, and it's paying off. Still working on. Looks like a perfect. And we do get a counter hit just to stagger over and over. Yeah. Keep perfect now. Let's super get anything started here. No moon drive. What? <laughs> that had to be like the max range on that 2 m That was crazy. Fluency. At full bar ready. They were definitely can utilize it for free pressure, but no, Wowza getting a hit here. What a whiff punish. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, not able to find an indraw that combo we'll just slashes for it. The moon drive activation gonna be allowing for a kill. And there it is. Wowza. This is interesting, because like her flippers uh, previous successes that we saw on stream. Uh, or just like their overall flow of game started off with a uh, really oppressive uh, offense right in the beginning and just kind of like taking the fight to their opponent, getting a very solid flow of uh, Oki and uh, situations from there. So uh, Wowza kind of turning that on his head and just uh, really having a solid presence in the match from beginning to end, uh, not allowing her to kind of get the game plan started. 
Okay, we do see the shield options that we were seeing earlier, and this is what it gets on hit. Ooh, what a double jump right there. What a punish! A fadeaway speed. Nice hit here. Going for the low. Alright. Woo! We're in. Oh, the Yo! level three. Nice. What a reversal. Oh, we're the best character in the game. Outside of Ice Blob. Oh, but we get the low. Air Flipper. Taking that game. For that round. Alright. Yeah, it seems like there's a uh, good amount of patience on both sides to capitalize on with punishing or spacing out the gap closing tools, you know, in terms of just like Saber's um, flips and such, and then Wiles has been using that uh, slash to navigate across the screen quite a bit. Uh, her flipper has gotten a lot of mileage from just with punishing and counterplaying uh, that slash that Wiles is using kind of close distance. Great pressure here with Saber backing up. Oh, doesn't punish with the jump shield. Had two chances to actually uh, get that. Yeah. Let's go for the throw. Nice. Now utilizes the moon drive. Tough situation for Waza. Not a lot of resources to work with. Back against the wall. Saber just swinging away. What do you do? Beautiful patience. Just finding perfect opportunity for the back throw, but couldn't get anything off of it. Her flipper committing to that moon drive or moon skill, excuse me. And uh, we'll be able to tie up 1-1. One, one after that okay ironically her flipper has been finding more success from the game slowing down you know we we're talking about uh her flippers kind of mo like momentum heavy offense style that they took to medusa but i feel like the way that they have just been playing the uh more so footsy ground game approach and forcing wowza to find a way in and capitalizing on wowza's mistakes it's been adding up Yeah, but here we go. Wowza in the position to get the win. Well, that was a nice side switch. And a that? reset. Yeah, Air Flipper's uh, offense here in the corner. Michael's a lot of really good options here, but does get a drop. Heats felt like uh, a heat to get everything back in order after that drop. Ooh, okay, yeah, find the counter hit. Couldn't, uh, you know, combo into arc drive or any type of super in time in order to guarantee a kill. But just there it is. The patient slow gameplay, waiting for Wild to commit and having the punishment ready. And now her flipper, one round away from being able to take the set and uh, persist to stop it. Ooh, what a punish on the shield drop. Nice AD over the long poke. Yeah, this is a situation where Wowzu can kill with a lot of meter left over, but does drop right at the end there. Oh, we do get the hit. And we're conserving a lot of meter going to the last round. All right, see how this all pays out. Will be interesting to see. Yeah, Wowzu is still kind of testing the waters with that slash, this time coming up big. Confirmation, quarter push, what more could you ask for? Oh! What a backdash. Gonna be one more combo after this. Alright, yeah, I like just spending all the meter now. Might as well cash out all that damage, get into your best form, waste all of the, yeah, waste all of the heat from uh, her flipper and put them in a super dangerous situation, and just closing it out Nania style. Wowza. 2-1 victory over her flipper and uh moving on it's top eight very good stuff but yeah that was cool kind of seeing the tug of war uh between the two of them it was like uh they both initially kind of had the idea of taking the fight to each other and then uh seeing that neutral game kind of slow down when they realized the um 
<clears throat> significance of being able to with punish and such and then you know both parties willing to just kind of uh, slow down seeing if they can get the uh punishes but then wowza just navigating through the minefield is saying all right i will test the wires when you least expect it <laughs> the uh heavy slash off that uh last round carrying to the corner very well executed but yeah we do have winner side topic matches to get through lucy has joined we're going to be having Lucy versus Lunar and then Sosic Nash versus Abster shortly thereafter. We thank you all for joining us tonight here for Heat Wave. Multiple tapping into tournaments. We are on PS4. PC is going to be coming uh, in around an hour from now. Be sure to uh, check out our match arenas. We have a match arena for PC and PS4 uh, where we have donated $50 to the pop for the pop bonus. And there are codes to be utilized. Please be sure to use those codes before the end of the night. You hit the claim code for a free 25 cent donation to the pot. We would greatly appreciate it. Be sure to check out the sponsor quest as well uh to donate even more free money to the pot we are ready to go uh lucy locked in on the coma and lunar is actually teasing locking in on not dead apostle noel just regular noel oh never mind yeah If I remember correctly, Lucy is playing the coma now. And we have seen the vanilla Noel coming. Looking. Oh. It's not allowing them to ready up <laughs> which is odd i i can try just remaking the lobby i'm not sure yeah. if the lobby is sure wait are you able to ready up just hypothetically okay 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 um if it has an issue with yeah we'll just remake it if it oh, okay they're good they're good <laughs> okay Everything's good. Hopefully it stays just fine after this. Alright, let's see what we've got. Lucy, Lunar, Coma, Noel. Not that apostle though. These two characters we haven't really seen for quite a while. So... Oh my gosh, we were swinging away. Oh! Ended up uh, taking out, but getting caught by the latter half of that record for an unblockable. <laughs> Fortunate situation. Lunar. Getting the better of these situations so far. Yeah, we do get the standing reset, and the DP is blocked and punished. Lunar's gonna get that first round. Yeah, everything about that first round executed very well from Lunar. Okay, but the fatal counter for Lucy to get started with the coma. Nice. So much bar to work with. Yeah, covering the backdash with that. Lucy just blocking it out. Gets air unblockable though. Yikes. Okay, left right. Nice heat out of there. Whoa, another one. Oh my gosh, yeah, just the straight whiff being caught by the black key into the pop lunar. Opting for the restand. Moon drive to freeze the screen. Put themselves out of danger. Oh! <laughs> Oh, wow, and they're playing some heavy mind games here to level two, level three mind games. Oh, man, that was enough to take it. You know, going up one. And Lucy going to be sticking with that Nakoma pick. Uh, maybe there is something going on there, but it looks like we're going back in it. Okay, 
All right. Both players charging up. Word. Oh, man. Yeah, it's funny. That was something that I think was changed in the previous patch of uh, Noel having less width, uh, less width recovery on top of her ground at normals. But that one is just so committal. It did not matter. Lucy having the perfectly timed IAD over. But not the biggest punish. Lunar still able to maintain this corner position in the right-hand side of the screen. I think Lucy is going for the DTEX. Make sure there's no tricky resets there. Wow, what a perfectly timed air moon skill to punish the shield. Doesn't get any more of it. Lunar trying to fade away, but a little bit too far to punish that shield. Gonna throw. Nice timing on the shield A to beat the overhead. Lucy always showing some great tech. You would imagine that's something that beats the beats a low shield, but no. <laughs> Timing the shield A to beat it. Better though. Holy stock. How many meters gonna get spent here? Oh, okay. Yeah, using the shield B, get out of the corner. And. Oh, so good. Do you think you're gonna punish? You jumped right over the first black key, but no. Oh my! <laughs> it looked like a potential shimmy situation that Luda set up there. It just wasn't able to get the proper whip punish. Oh, going the wrong way. Lucy getting a hit here. Bro, where is she swinging? Nose. Nice. Hitting whatever reversal button there. Go PC. Okay, yeah, you can see Luna kind of teasing the idea of doing the DP and seeing how Lucy is going to counteract. But Lucy was just patient, sitting there stoically, waiting for the turn. And, uh, yeah, got the read that uh, Luna wasn't going to be committing to that DP or the 3BC Moon Drive, or Moon Skill, excuse me. And just uh, took that as a sign of aggression. There we go, we're tied up 1-1. Run from Luna. Try to go for some throw baits. Landing, go! Oh. Yeah, catches the back dash so easily too. Ooh. Luna was able to, to fade all the way into the mid screen. What Another a hit situation. confirmed! Great. Luna having the heat get out of that situation. Lucy just patiently waiting. Opportunity. Lunar though, getting the hit. Yeah, Lucy committed to that high shield. Lunar really trying to fish for uh, Lucy to make a mistake on the defense, whether it be like a throw whiff or a shield, but Lucy just staying there again, super patient, waiting their turn, able to find a counter poke on the approach. Oh, no! has armor, but no kill confirmation there for Lucy. Oh my goodness. That was so, so good. smart. Yeah, that was just a hundred percent punish winning for it. You see playing as usual this really strong defensive game. And I think Koma does play into that a lot, having the, the command grab. But right now, no meter available, so we're blocking this straight up. Little cool. whips on these five A's. Lucy able to find a whip punish, forced her way out of the corner. Bruh. <laughs> No way. Ooh. Trying to doused like that was the right answer. Just the button move forward. Oh my god, this should be catching the well out the air. Lunar in a very rough spot right now. <gasps> oh my god. Did he wake up? Heat activation after the moon. Lucy getting the punish and gonna be able to get the set 2-1 over Lunar and move on into winner's final. Great stuff for the both of them. That was that was such slow pace game plan, like gameplay, but it really wasn't that slow if you think about all the decisions that had to be thought about the whole time. It didn't look like much. But there was a lot of stuff going on there, and I really love this Koma pick that Lucy. Quite insane.
Yeah, definitely. Just another testament to uh, Lucy's defense that we've seen uh, here and here out with like any characters that they opt to play. Uh, their patience is always something that we commend and. So having that type of patience on a grappler type of playstyle where you get big reward off of the confirmation that you are able to find with your hits, it uh, it looks like a good a good match there for Lucy. I, I too really like the Koma pick that they're opting with nowadays. The other thing that Koma has is command grab. Oh. Hey, where you go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't like that. I'm remaking the lobby. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I don't want. Um, but yeah, having the command grab is really good for a very defensive play. It beats a lot of setups that you normally And so it's just having another option to cycle around something for the other player. Uh, are we? Okay, I was going to say, it's not going to be Miyako Mirror here. Wait, which one? What? <laughs> nah, I didn't. I didn't know about this one. <laughs> I did not know but, about this one either. <laughs> okay. So sick, Noel fan, huh? Interesting. Her name starts with an N. It's uh, it's fine in his book. How do you explain Kohaku, Sui, and Miyako? <laughs> I don't. I don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoa, has the safe jump. Gonna be able to punish with the 2C. So sick, Nash fan. Apparently, Noel player has the setups. Catches oh, the back dash. Nice. That was actually perfectly executed to not have to cancel. Average here, finally getting ahead to get his footing. Ooh, the heat out though. Oh, potential for a snowball in Miyako's favor. Holy crap! <laughs> Just ricocheting off of Noel's dome. Unfortunately, none of it was hit there for Abister off the quadruple overhead. And goodness. And this, yeah, this Noel is looking solid. good. I'd say so. I'm just so surprised. Jeez, the striking underneath the fish for that anti-air. Abister doing a fantastic response here in this round thus far. Mm hmm? Nice fatal counter. Now, Abister in the corner. Never mind, we just get a counter hit to be... Whew, all these options. Celtic Nash fan. Getting the heat. Ooh, out of the Ooh! air! Level three. It's big. Yeah, you might as well just go for the arc drive at this point, cash in all of that damage. Beautiful find with the 63A there. Abister in a very difficult position. Just goes for the 2A right after the moon drive pops. So sick. Nash fan. Popping off with this Noel right now. Yeah, and I think really everything has been there for this Noel thus far. I mean, the uh, obviously they're going for the frame kill setups on the uh, side swap uh, for the Oki. They have fantastic neutral that they're implementing. There's been a good amount of checks that we've seen from their uh, magic series to catch backdashes. And <laughs> just good reads overall as you see them starting out with the air throw, the same side black key opening up Abister. No way. Okay. Absolutely looking to turn the tables. Committing to that high shield is Nash fan just trying to create some space. Beautiful! That was so good. 
able to visually recognize what's going on and cancel with the super. The fatal counter off the 5A, are you kidding me from that far? No meter necessary. Nash fed. One round away from moving into the winner's final. Okay. Whoa. Alright, kicking away. After having a very momentum heavy round, just a fatal counter to stuff the approach of Nash Fan. This time, take it out. They were gonna go for the uh, double overheads as we've seen in the past, and just catching the fatal counter low. A very uh, much needed perfect round there for Abster. Kind of get their head back in the game. Oh, but no confirmation. Nash Fan has been pretty solid on those confirmed as of before that moment, but Abster. Getting a lot of momentum here. Good tech. And an air unblockable to get. Right here, gonna get pushed all the way to the corner. Oh, a little bit mm. misjudged on the spacing there. Okay, yeah, really trying to dig into that shield, but uh, Nash Fan not committing. This is a ton of damage to take. Oh my gosh, the arc, uh, I don't know. So like that calls out the back dash, that's good damage. But Nash Fan does not have a heat to work with for now. What? 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 <laughs> what? I don't. I don't know what happened. That was it. This is like the perfect call. The block DP, and they did not. It could have been any button. They ended up hitting shield. That was so unfortunate. How? <laughs> Well, here we are. Man, getting hit by that overhead. Nice speed of counter in the corner, though. Nice, opening up a situation for left, right. We're getting hit. The ground here. Pass up so fast still. Oh! Air throw off of the air tech, and now Nash fan had a solid series with this Noel. That was looking like a closing sequence from the uh, previous game that we had, but now being threatened, being sent to the losers bracket as Abister is working their way back up. There's no spoon drive here. Trying to find a situation. This feels like so sick. Nash fans trying to. Hot here, but that uh, can very well get to throw. This is we're so sick, Nash fan. So, Abister does just pop the moon drop, and now we get an opportunity here. Oh, the heat out, <laughs> everyone's just flying all over the place. What a fatal counter in the air. Okay. Yeah, just really diving all the way in with these Miyako air buttons to fish for a fatal counter. Every situation. I think both players do not want to be put in any situation here. Looks like Nash fan has the moon drive, but spends it on the BC. This could be it. Moon drive activation, and there it is. Abster is going to be able to take it. 2-1 over Sosik Nash fan. The surprise in the low pick, I think, to everybody. Um, Nearly ping off there. There were scenarios that felt like it could have gone in their favor, but Abster was able to pull it out at the end of the day. Hey. So here we go, going down to the uh, loser side, we do have Lunar and Medusa coming up. So yeah, Lunar going back to character select, maybe seeing the return of the Dead Apostle Well, and that is the case. 
versus uh, Medusa, who has had some very impressive, at least, uh, stream match performances that we've seen thus far. Really liking the style uh, of their while wow, that they bring to the table, just playing that uh, character really well, whether it be offensively or defensively. Um, and yeah, I mean, from the Dead Apostle in the World match that we saw from Lunar, really just hasn't skipped a beat. We already we already know the vibes of what it is with Lunar, man. Just like a solid neutral game, convert all the hits that you possibly can into the Oki, and then it's time to guess. So. <laughs> Lunar trying to get something started before all that happens. It's thrown. Not too much here. Kind of the biggest difference in this um, long range game is Lunar does have options to do the TK fireballs. Kind of call out some of the stomps. So far, not a solid hit. That could have been a big conversion. Just throwing it out, but here the stomp does hit. Ooh, now Medusa in the opportunity. Nice Ooh! jump shield to bait out the heat. Okay, some drop combos here and there, but Lunar's still able to bring it together and get the round one. Yeah, uh, having Medusa spend that heat and uh, have it punished in that way is pretty significant here for Lunar. Oh, and the Fatal Counter. There's been a lot of those that have been making contact. That Fatal Counter JC. I'm not sure what they're stuffing out there from uh, Blob. Sheesh. Has, have we entered the Vlav realm? Yeah, just a bit, but Lunar having the Moon Drive. Okay. The oh my god! It comes back. <laughs> you gotta love it. Oh man, but this should be enough to kill. True! <laughs> so close. Yeah, I was on the edge of my seat there, but no, the arc drive is able to bring it together. And uh, yeah, pretty. Solid matchup from Lunar altogether. It's funny. It hasn't really been uh, a real matter of the Oki and mix-up. Uh, really, it's just kind of come down to the neutral game of just uh, being willing to play more of a full-screen game, which is uh, an interesting decision against Vlav, no less, but it's been working out. They've been finding a lot of these Fatal Counter JCs as well. Haven't needed to uh, win off a knockdown quite yet. Yeah, which is really good. Showcase like that. Definitely, DNOL can just win with the snowball effect, but if you can consistently win through just the neutral and the mid uh, aim range, mid, mid range, range ranges, that just means you have a lot of opportunity. A O S to beat that. Uh, another heat used, another heat punished as Lunar. Really looking uh, extremely solid in this game. Just one round away from being able to take it over Medusa. Medusa typically looking so unfazed, so in their zone in these matches, but just running into a little bit of a stop sign in the form of Lunar. But we do have an Ice of Love where my Newt used to be. <laughs> oh no. Any the hit here. We can start the Oki. But we do have Moon Drive. Doesn't work. Had a block. This time. Another one. Yeah. Okay, moon drive activation, we know, and then the heat. But, uh, Can't escape! Oh, the 4 BC! Okay, finally finding an opportunity to escape, get things in their favor, but just look at the resources that Medusa has. Even with having Lunar in the corner, just can't find a way to navigate in and get some momentum as Lunar cha just changed the tides completely. Four rounds, two games, and a set under their belt as they persist through the loser's bracket. Great stuff. It really feels like Lunar played that game. Just showed a lot of confidence in the Vlav matchup. Hey, you... Go ahead and be long uh, green and have ace to deal it deal with it and that that confidence knowing that you have that uh that matchup knowledge just 
makes you play more comfortably overall. And it definitely felt like that. Okay, yeah, I got pushed away. It's fine. I still have options. And if I need, you know, if I do get the hit, you're going to be worried on the Oki. And it definitely felt like that. Race up to Lunar, Yuta finding some opportunities, but yeah, right at the end there, kind of was at a, kind of end up at a stop sign of, had the Moon Drive active, trying to figure out a way to open it up, but didn't have that many resources. Have to up, I have no sick Nash fan over Alza. Yep, yep. Sosik Nash fan Swazo coming right up. Uh, we'll be interested to see the Sosik Nash fan pick uh, coming off of that Noel gameplay that did look solid in its own right. Um, I don't know. Maybe that was a Miyako specific decision or that's something that's looking to rock. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Maybe we'll just go back to Miyako. Potentially. I mean, that's what's locked in right now. No way, man. There's no way. <laughs> oh. I see. That's really cool. Yo, sick. He let his Nash fans pick his characters. Is that is that what he is that what he calls his his fans? The Nash fans? Or is it a so sick Nash fan fan? So sick Nash fan fan. <laughs> the SSNFS. Oh my god. How did you? <laughs> Rap God. Truly. Yeah, SSNFS sounds like a drivewall character. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Super Another Saiyan. Goku God. Yeah, dude. I don't. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Super Super Saiyan Fire Ninja Saiyan Goku. <laughs> Man. Man. Haven't you heard? I, I've heard now. Upcoming spinoff, Dragon Ball Z Plus. It's happening. Wait for it. 2024. Where is Wowza? Wowza, I'm about to ban you from every heat wave, bro. <laughs> Where? You gotta, you gotta do the secret. Do I gotta add it everywhere again? Yeah, you know, I know what I did last time. Wowza at Wowza on Twitter. <laughs> Ivan and his public. Yup. All right, so we're going to be adding Wowza on Twitter. Uh, we add Wowza in plus frames. Let me add Wowza everywhere else. Let's see. What are you even doing? Yeah, we'll go over to this server. Uh, keyword heat wave. Uh, where else can we find Wowza at? All right. Like, all right, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, so we are going to be seeing the Miyako. I mean, Icon, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> no Miyako. You called it. She never went away. She was just taking a break. Come back. Post patch, Miyako. Ooh, trying to whip punish. The slash. I'll be the delay. Getting the B. Wow, is it getting started? Okay. Hitting, but the out oh, does get the punish. Five. Oh, Word? no. <laughs> And unfortunately, Lazo didn't have a bigger punish for that situation, though. It was kind of out of nowhere, but... Ooh! Yo! Okay! 
felt like a purposeful, purposeful drop, especially now with the... Yeah, that does... Man, that is so... <laughs> what the hell? I ain't doing shit! <laughs> that did no damage! I see! Alright. Yeah, I mean, we don't, we used to have Miyako's like everywhere, right? But uh, recently, it's really just only been uh, Mega Reaper, we're able, we're able to have them on stream, who's been rocking Miyako. So, like, I hadn't even noticed how low the throw damage is now. Like, <laughs> Reaper, Abister, we just saw a little bit again. Oh. True, 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 true. Yeah, Abister. Nice. Punish on the go drop. It still works. How? How, Sway? It's a mid now, right? Uh, no. The second hit is... The first and second hit are mids and the last hit is... I see. I just know that the first hit is not an overhead. Man, this throw damage is so awful. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Flash, but unfortunately, there's more hits to come. Bowser. Moon Drive active. So we utilize it on the BC. Alright. Definitely gonna be one more touch. <laughs> and even with the level 3. Yeah, I still say it was worth it though, you know, put uh, Wowza in a very uncomfortable situation. Yeah. Next hit wins and was able to get it off that JC. Good stuff there. So it's a Nash fan getting the uh, first game. Yeah, see if Wowza will be able to bring this together. I will say, there's been quite a few challenges on the ground game that I feel like uh, Wowza may be able to stuff. Like, the charge punch and then also uh, Sosik Nashran going for the... Uh, I, I don't know. In, in terms of just, like, uh, the ground game approach, I feel like Wowza could have a little bit more counterplay there. Because they're patient, but it looks like they're patient in looking for their opening for, like, the slash rather than looking for counterplay to uh, Nashran's approach. Oh, trying to... It looked like it's a, a, a DP, but just went for an air. Action. Great Yikes. combo. Ah, but we can get out. Go DC, we still have the advantage. Oh my oh. Okay. Was that what was going for before? That's crazy. It hits so high up, though. Nash, what a whiff punish! Wild. <laughs> Almost going for another whiff punish right there as well. Unblockable though. Doesn't Just matter. Let it rip. Yeah. Oh! Wow, she's everywhere. Okay. <sighs> Again. Yeah, playing from this full screen. The armor right through everything. And yeah, we just get it with a singular 5A. So sick Nashman showing that Miyako is still here to play. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, that big throw bait was astounding. Uh, you know, it, it, it does still put, even though the throw damage is low, uh, it is, you know, still kind of more than like your average uh, throw or whatnot. And uh, the strike throw is still necessary for Miyako to kind of get her games going. So, so sick Nashman definitely showing fantastic implementation of that. And uh, yeah, just really solid play all together. 
Uh, loving the utilization of the air buttons as well, as I was saying, just like uh, fishing for those jump C's and jump B's. Really made it hard for uh, Miles to kind of get a hang of things, so. Oh, I should, uh, I forgot to tell Sosic Nashman to stay. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Another matchup we haven't seen in quite a while. Yes. Tony's vision. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gotta navigate this trap field neutral, and Lunar just running up, getting the getting the low. Oh. Okay. Yeah, patience is getting the uh, throw punish shortly thereafter. What an wow. <laughs> Beautiful button. Word? How is that? I guess it just looks very meaty. Had to be blocking overhead right when you get up, it looks like. Okay, gets the knockdown. Wow, just uh, committing the shield. Nash Ben, correct for that decision. Needs to find a way out of this corner though. The run up throw, Lunar, in a very comfy, cozy position. Yeah, Nash Ben recognizing the implications of the situation. DP out of there. Ooh, nice wait. Man, Man. what a throw tech. Yo, I swear there is a sword uh, hitbox on Miyako's JC. Like <laughs> yeah, it goes so far down. I never expected to actually beat the throw or punish the throw like that. Ooh. Board moving buttons, getting out of that situation. Ash fan. It's a hit. Hey yo! Nice. Beautiful bit on the heat activation, having the shield ready to go. Lunar, fantastic awareness. <laughs> Charging away. Yeah, I like that. Mash friend walked up just a little bit to see how Lunar's gonna react. Still, still starting to charge. So Mash was like, alright, I'll charge too. And there it is, the full screen stop. Quite a bit of damage off of that. Nice block. Man. Ooh. Mm, catches the lows, but couldn't get the full confirmation. Okay. What? The armor. Oh my god. Going ham with that button. Plus on charge. All right, looks like Nash fan just letting it happen. Yeah, just taking it easy. Okay, just gonna be activating the arc drive so they'll have the falling pins. Tries to shield B out. That was actually quite risky. Okay. And now after all of that, beat to get some life back. But Lunar, during that scramble, gets an opportunity to get a hit. Life bars, bars pretty even. Although, oh, the throw bait. throw bait. Yes. And there it is. Lunar will be able to take game one. So it's like Nash fan taking things like pretty easy and allowing for a lot of things to kind of pass by in terms of uh, Lunar's heat activation and uh, the uh, arc drive and such. And so they had a you know good life lead to work with. It's just unfortunately when it was uh, time to turn the tables or get the uh, closing sequence of the match, just couldn't get a ounce of uh, dubs in the neutral game there. So Lunar 
staying persistent, doing a fantastic job of keeping the pressure going. Word it with the game for it. Yeah, and I guess that's the thing about the slow-paced gameplay that uh, Sosik Nasrin is doing. Is like Miyako, besides the stomp, doesn't really have a lot that she can threaten from that full screen positioning. If she wants to find a hit, she is gonna have to go in eventually. Whereas like when it comes to Dead Pops Noel, well, she gets to set up uh, essentially for free if you're playing around stomp properly and such. So when it comes to getting those totems or setting up the uh, delayed fireball and stuff, stuff like that. Oh, catch the back dash. And there it is, the super confirmation right there. Sun, yeah, just uh, constantly hitting these buttons to stuff the lunar approach with the dead apostle as well. So it's like Nashman having a great eye for it. Good navigation around the shield mind games as well. Backs himself into a corner though, this could be dangerous. Okay, yeah, I think they were expecting a stand shield, try to uh, punish it with a 2C, 2B. Yeah, playing this um, far range game, looking to build the moon drive. Oh, actually more than that, playing around the moon drive and popping in the totems. As yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like the exact thing that I was talking about. It's just like you see the full screen, like so it's Nash Red stuck in that corner and Lunar just went full zoning mode, you know? Yeah. Oh no. DP baited. Not gonna be enough here yet. Yeah. Utilize this the moon drive to make sure. What a clash. Oh my. Oh my. Uh... That is going. Using everything, making this game very scrap. Oh, but heat right at the wrong time, and just a super chump to get right over a punish. This is very scrambly at the end there. Just trying to get get the win, trying to find. I don't know. I mean. Looks like Nashman and Miyako just very well, very good at sharking and Lunar having to deal with a lot of different options, even at full screen. Forced to utilize the resources to just stay alive. Nice! Geo and too close, so that was a shield punish. Okay. Oh yeah, try to go for the big bait of the throw there. So Nashman just staying patient. Yeah, nothing really uh, coming in handy here for Luna for the rush down yet. So Nashman knows what's at stake. If I hit a button, I could just die. <laughs> Gotta imagine they eventually need to find a way out of here some type of way. And there it is, the reversal super and the cross up elbow for So Nashman to take the round. His patience being rewarded at the end of the day and now So Nashman one round away from being able to move on into loser's final. Feels like Lunar wants to get things started, but so sick Nashman really good at the, the counter pokes right now. Not letting Lunar get the snowball going. Oh, gets pulled back in. Just utilizing level three for the falling pins. Interesting. Ended up paying off. You were able to cash in a throw and some corner positioning here for Lunar to try to build up some momentum. Okay. Oh my god, an actual big drop. Like that that could have been the start of like a sequence that we've seen from Lunar time and time again. But got to be able to get a second chance at it from that 2A set up shop, the totems. Yeah, I I, I had a feeling that uh, Sosik Nashman was going to moon drive because you maybe want to have that resource available for the next round. So here it is, it all kind of relies on this. Amazing defense, man. So like Nash fans' defense has just been super on point. Yeah, the defense is great. It's, it feels like uh, Lunar's trying to get the opening and trying many different ways that it's just 
not the not typical DNOL gameplay. And yeah, again, trying to rush in and so sick Nash fan getting the, the counter poke here, but a DP uh, with no resources. This yeah, I was sure about that one. There's nothing to cover that at all. This is exactly where you don't want to be. But so sick Nash fan's defense oh, is proving oh, that it doesn't God. even matter. Blocking through it all and getting it done. So sick Nash with the 2 1 victory over Lunar with the Miyako. Miyako always the amp. Always has been. <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. That was a great game between the two. So sick Nash fans' defense is great. Lunar showing up with more offense. Like, different ways to, to change up the offense as well. Just. Looks like Nash was just on point with the DPs, with kind of blocking it out, the fuzzy guard. Oh, great stuff. Ethan, <laughs> <laughs> the Miyako, RB Strong. That little one pop it in. I, I can't help but read Lucy's comment in Lil Wayne's voice. <laughs> Miyako's so sick, call him Nash fan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was more of a punk impression than a Lil Wayne impression, I don't know. It was more of a punk <laughs> impression, but he got it. Uh, Omni... Man, we got a Miyako in winter side and a Miyako in loser side. It's been like old times. Yeah. I thought we were never supposed to see this again after the patch. What happened? I don't know, man. They're just uh, going into the <laughs> going into the caves, building up the strength again and coming out stronger. Yikes! Their army was uh, devastated after the patch. <laughs> Abister still rocking it, rocking that Miyako. So sick, Nash fan, having his fans call out that Miyako again. And this is what we get. Is this is this like Hash 1.0, Oma, Miyako? This Maybe is... I don't know, man. <laughs> You could, you could tell me that this is Heat Wave 1, pun and done versus Omnisite, that I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Strong <laughs> <laughs> okay. before it gets becomes strong again. Adister. Chasing down Lucy. DP out, and the Heat, we're out. Oh, we are swinging today, I swear. Yeah, there is. Quite a bit of swing go I'm having trouble keeping like track of everything. Yeah. It's mad. Today everyone's playing some sort of way. And I mean, here we go. Yes. Nice! OS is ready. Okay. I wanna deal with that. Nice. Let's pop it. No! That gives Koma body armor, right? Did Lucy need to shield there? I think any shield beats it. Like, shield axe. But it was the cross up elbow. Could they have just like ate the elbow to punish? Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure how that worked. Yeah, I'm not quite sure either. Because I was just like, I saw the armor and I saw the Miyako elbow. I was like, oh, can't you just eat this? Like, okay. oh, yeah, can move break armor. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hey, yo! Uh, oh! Great <laughs> that was so sick! <laughs> no Nash, man! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, both pop in the moon drive. Okay. See? Ooh, nice throw out of the air. Oh, okay. The run up throw finally getting it done. 
All right. Oh, the chase. Yeah, Abister is on just like, no, I want to pick up right from where I left off. Back into this corner <laughs> we go. Let's get it popping. Okay, punish on the dive landing there. Boom! That was yeah. a nerf. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? <All> right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, catches the last part of that cartwheel. Oh my god, just meeting with the five A's. Slaps to the face. And back dash. Huh? That was an interesting hit. Miyako problems. That had, had to be a Miyako issue right there. There's no way. That was so weird. Word! Okay! <laughs> wow. Air throw right after the moon drive activation. Nice. Hit the, the latter part of that combo. What? The, the jump DP moon drive activation <laughs> from full screen? I, you know, I mess with the vision. Big hunter. Yeah, okay, that was that's kinda cheesy. I like that. No oh. way. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did I just see? DP the moon drive again. Oh. <laughs> Man. What? Cross up anti air charge to see. Making me sick. No Nash fan. So amazing. Again, catching with that air to air. Big combo as well. What? Great stuff. Nice. Oh, does it get the punish though? Yeah. Yeah, that armor just forcing out EX is like, you know they have to EX in order to do something about it. So the shield is pretty much there and ready. Oh! Oh. We're gonna miss. Oh what? my god! The mad range 3C anti but couldn't get the pickup for the kill. Lucy hopping over the stop. Avister needs to be careful. Not a lot of life to work with, but this could be the start of something new. Feels so right to be in the corner with you, but yeah. there it is! Wake up two way! Alright. Lucy? But it's no damage though, right? It's yeah, fine. No damage. It's fine. Right? Like it's got like half of it back. My heat is activated. Oh my gosh, armor. He's back up. Oh my Again! Yeah. We've seen Lucy like do that with pretty much almost every character in the game they're like back up charge up and you try to approach and you get countered like yeah sometimes off of three c's like lucy's just so good at that oh so word <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the scoop those last moments for all lucy this is winners this is winners finals this is winners oh i probably should have told them that this is winners finals Oops. Alright. Yeah, so Lucy, a game away from taking it all looking extremely solid on this coma.
Let's see what Apister is able to do about it. I feel like uh, just everything that Apister has been throwing at Lucy, the airborne approach has, you know, time and time again, getting end here one way or another. Uh, the rush down attempts with the jumps and everything have really been able to crack things open. It's just uh, not really too many mistakes being made by Lucy. This time. Why are you getting hit by this? <laughs> Simply block. Oh my gosh. The punish off the cart will. Oh. Oh. Okay. Finding our opportunity for the heat activation, the moon drive, everything. I would have been disgusted if that killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a punish there. Woo! Yikes. Is this going to be it? Yeah. No. Drops the ladder after the combo, but able to shield. Wait. <laughs> wow. Yep, Actually yes. pulls that back. Let's see one round away. Oh my, how? What? <laughs> Let me do that. Are you kidding me? This is consistent 3C anti-airs all day. Like, it's no problem. Sheesh. You're playing Street Fighter? Like, Potentially. round and anti-airs. Ooh, right over that 2C. Whoa, blood heat to heat <laughs> activation. <laughs> No way. Oh, full punish though. But all that meter spent. Okay, charge it up. Lucy, just name it a game. You know, charge it up. You know, threaten the uh, presence of having a super available or being able to do it with the heat. And then punish your opponent's approach for trying to get you from stopping the charge. Uh oh, yeah, committed to the wake up shield. Got crossed up with the fatal counter. Moon Drive activation, this could be it, and that will do it. Lucy getting the 3-0 victory over Abister and moving on into Grand Finals winner side with the coma. Are we going to have the two Miyako players fight it out? Nah, Nash fan ain't gonna do it. Nash fan ain't gonna do it. It's not gonna be Miyako. There's no way. Apparently it's not up to him. Yeah. What do the fans want to see this? <laughs> Two Miyako players fighting it out. Oh, oh man, <laughs> just like old times. Here we go. Abister Miyako versus So Sick Nash Fan Miyako. In so long. Here we are. Oh, uh, yeah. Clashes into the. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Waiting for the cross up, getting the throw. Oof. Okay. Oh my god, I'm just trying to play chase down. So sick Nashford just hop, skipping, and jumping away at all costs. Oh, that's an unfortunate drop. How? How do I, I, how do, how do I find the words for this? Uh, jumpy, jumpy. Getting the hit on the ground. More jumpies. Oh, gee, dude, it's two bees. Mm. Okay. Mm? Okay. Here. Alright, stomps. You have a stomp, you're top tier in this game. It has a stomp. 
I believe you. <laughs> nice shield. Back again. This time, just go for the throw. That is cool. I almost feel like that does less than a counter hit or fatal counter throw. Kind of crazy. Whoa. Armored stomp to beat the cross up. And now, at the corner. Okay. No! Kill came out. I guess thought it was low enough to hit. But... Okay, heat activation. What? <laughs> I, I, I ain't got it, man. <laughs> I ain't got it. What a wild decision. Just want to get that, that heat to go to waste, I suppose. Really funny. What a back dash <laughs> info through the stop, perfectly timed. All right, again, go go. Oh, the sweep, yeah, get firm off the sweep. Nashman can't keep Abster locked out in the corner though. Abster will keep moving forward. Fatal cat. Ooh, yo, that was a really nice air to ground confirmation. Close to the chest. So much light. I'm going for the shield A, and that's gonna be enough. Nobody's. No fucking way. Alright. Air grab. Ground grab. Another one. <laughs> oh many. Isolate A. Abister. Being right on a lot of these initial hits. The trade couple just goes for the side switch. Okay, back in the corner. Just gets hit. Try to reversal something out. One more hit for Still Sick Nash fan. Goodness. We're <laughs> back up. Stomp. The shield was there. Gosh, you got hit. Chasing the back dash with that. Looks like Nash fan. Nice block. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. The two you punish. Pops the heat for to get the life back, but no, just commits to the elbow drop, so Sick Nash was waiting patiently underneath, getting the shield A. And so sick, Nashran, one game away from getting the sweep over Abster moving into Grand Finals. Nice. And yeah, Abyssin having the initial pressure here, but so sick Nash fan has been shown a lot of defense. <laughs> Grabbed out of the punch. Little lunch punch. <laughs> Why did that 5A hit? Killed the the three meters on deck, spending the one for the corner push. Double stomp. And we just 
back up and get the 5A again. Yako. Doesn't get the punish. Ooh! And this is gonna be enough. Looks like Nash fan on the last on game point. Atmosphere again, starting off strong. Okay, yeah, just hopping around. That could go for either player. <laughs> <laughs> Miyako doing Miyako things. Double shoulder tackle. This is still good. Far moving forward and button. Both players, yeah, both players trying to lock each other down, but so much movement. So fast too. We jump so fast. Oh, doesn't punish he, though. He not punish the free escape out of the corner, but goes for yet another one. Bro, so sick, Nash fan. Oh my gosh! Had a shimmy capable of being punished there, but not ready for the whiff to throw. Abister bringing it back. So it's like Nash fan still on game point. Oh my god, yeah, just do it again! Let it rip! Let it fly! What? I don't know what reversal that was. Looked like an EX. No, the oh, no. just getting hit every every time. Sharking, sharking. Okay. Wow, thrown out of the stomp, really. Trying to set up the stomp into BC stuff, but not allowing it. So sick, Nash man. <laughs> <laughs> But just DP yet again! Oh. <laughs> so it's like Nash man able to take it 3 0 over in the Miyako. I didn't hear Lucy. <laughs> man, that was. <laughs> that was a match, I'll tell you what. Yeah. It's. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing some games, you know? We're pushing some buttons, we're running around, jumping around, DP and hit everywhere. My goodness. We've made it out of the Miyako Mirrors into Grand Finals, where Still Sick Nash Man's gonna be enough with. I mean, I imagine Ulysses just gonna keep with the cover. I'm looking yeah. really good. Yep, yep. I think that is the name of the game for Lucy here. And yeah, this will be the initial meetup between these two for the purpose of this bracket. Uh, they have not uh, played against each other thus far. Uh, is Nash fan gonna be sticking to that Miyako for the grand finals? Has not locked in quite yet. What could it be? Final pull. He's grabbing some water. <laughs> After that match, <laughs> everyone should drink some water. Indeed, indeed. All right, all right, all right. Grand finals, here we are. Lucy, man, I really love what I'm seeing with this Como. Defense, great defense, big conversions, definitely some drop conversions, but they're, they are there. Uh, but so it's like Nash and Lucy. <laughs> We're powering up, key charge. I like it. <laughs> what a whiff punish. Okay. 
but we gotta say, Sosik Nash fan defense has been great until that point. Get hit with the overhead. Oh, it was a punish, but it was an armor. Getting the heat for the life back. The just respecting it. Yeah. Spelling the reset there. Looks like Nashman trying to run in to get a hit, but Lucy now the 2A. Getting quite a bit of damage here off of that counter. Bro, it's still not gonna be enough. Okay. Lucy! Opting the back up and just ID back and get the punish. Airfield counter. Oh, the DP hits. My yeah. god, that combo is so sick. Like so cool. Going back and forth there. Can't believe it was off of that DP as well. The uh, 3C zoom charge. What are we gonna do? But we don't have uh heat active yet for Luffy and so like Nash Man does armor correctly. Running out of the corner. Gets out, but gets punished for it. So sick Nash fan as me off and pop size almost. That hit is really funky. Yeah. Like I, said, I feel like it's something Miyako specific going on there with the routing. I, it's really weird. Playing. Look, I think looking for Moon Drive. Time's running out. Oh! Man, what is this? Are they playing Street Fighter? Like, it looks crazy. It certainly looks like it. Gosh. Pressure was enough to make Slow Signash and just backdash out of there. Don't want to deal with it. Again, getting hit by the overhead. GG though. In the corner. What a punish with the jumping button. Okay. Timing in which he does heat. Really good. I mean, hasn't really got punished for doing heat quite yet. Get too much off of it there, however, and so sick Nash fan getting the cross up. Oh yes, the attempt of the DP reversal, so sick Nash fan able to punish with the elbow going up game one. But boy, was it a hard fought game one. That that whole like game felt like it lasted longer than some of the sets that we got here tonight. Like <laughs> definitely. Backdash in the corner, trying to catch something there. First or heat. The backdash there. Or after the dunk. Oh, running right under. I think I've seen a couple times Lucy has beat that option with that. Yeah, back dash. The moon drive. I've seen that quite a bit. Yeah, it's, it's intriguing, right? Like I, the, perhaps just like if the opponent decides to go in for an air, you're just putting an active hitbox out there, and it'll give you a free hit confirm if it hits. If not, just a non-committal hitbox that you throw out there. I don't know. 
Yeah. Are you utilizing Moon Drive for that? I'll but get the DP combo yet again. Slum dunk. Correct. Already have the Moon Drive back. Or can get another hit. Still needs one. The 2A Fatal Counter able to do it. Lucy tying up the game 1-1 one, one now. Still wondering what's going on with that deep. Yeah, yeah. something. Back. It's a little guys. Try to go on the other side, but the pro the double hitting. A B. Chasing. Oh my god. She she can't keep getting away with this. Like <laughs> back up, charge it up, I dare you to approach, counter poke. Like it's just a match made in heaven. Lucy just executes it time and time again. Not so well. So many over it. That did a lot of chip damage. In danger of just more touch here. A throw. Yeah, I mean, like, all of the defense was on point. Like, the chip was really starting to add up, so it made for that confirm. Uh, allow for it to be fatal. And Lucy didn't have any, like, heat or uh, magic or moon, excuse me, uh, activation to kind of get out of there. So, really a tough situation to be in. So, Snatch Fan says, hey, let's repeat that. Back to the corner we go. But the scoop. to the ground oh my gosh covering the back dashes constantly so much rambling going on in the middle as well Oh no, Lucy got hit by the overhead. I think it is done at a meaty time where the first hit is already gone. That would make sense. Oh, should be see. The armor was there, but. Incorrectly getting the punish, and so Sig Nashman going up 2 1 with his Miyako pick, no less. See how it works out here. Lucy, oh, gets caught by the slam. Just DP off in the distance. Threatening those charges to bait a so sick Nashman approach, but th there it is. You're in your head. You're like, do I do I stop coma? Do I not? The Rekka, right when you least expect it, catching the back dash. Lucy turned up, but a little bit of a stop to the pressure. So sick Nashman opted for the reversal. Oh my gosh, fake on the JC yet again. We've seen that JC charge with or uh, cancel uh, in order to land and find a low instead, forcing you to stand shield, getting the punish. Fatal counter, Lucy. Up one round. Woo! And... <laughs> what a odd pacing of match. Kind of baiting Lucy Nash kind of run in. I think there's a big missed opportunity there for the whiff punish. Yep, back dash away. Woo! 
Oh, Nash fan doing the same thing. Lucy having Moon Drive active. How many do something with it? Gets the punish on the air shield though. I like some cash out into the armor, no less. Now we're chasing. I deal with it. Now, drive cancel shenanigans. Oh, air throw to the corner. Lucy pops the moon drive, gets the 2C. That's rough. That's rough. Yeah. Heat activation. So sick, Nash man. Oh my god, not like this. Oh my god. No. <laughs> no. After all of that, <laughs> final second. So sick, Nash man. Able to capitalize on the heat activation. Nice. Air unblockable. 2B. You see? Turn it up a little bit. Not quite yet. Looks like Nash fan though, chasing. Getting the throw after the back dash. Hates the moon drive with the back. Your back dash. Yeah, so it's like Nash fan definitely fine kinda just running away. All damage compared to how much resources was spent right there. Lucy completely right. out of moon and magic circuit. Okay, no BC option for Sosic Nashman on the shield interactions. Lucy just needs to find a way to force a hit. Sosic Nashman is like, this is Koma. I just pop heat from here. What could Koma possibly do to punish me? But it was punished. Just keep. Let me get my moon drive. Yes. Ooh. Stomp catching it, but wasn't ready. Sosic Nash. Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> The multi-hit box of that super persisted even after the shield. That was very weird. That was wild. Lucy was both hitting and shielding at the same time. <laughs> and after all of that, Lucy is going to tie it up two to two. This is tournament point for Lucy. One more game. I'm going to take Heat Wave 12. But so sick Nash fan. Still here. Miyako, a terror. That shakes up. Already. Both spending the moon drive. So sick Nash fan getting a fatal counter. Throw though, not too much. Nice blocks. Spending the meter. No punish on the build recovery. Nice air grab. Up hits and baits the DP with the back dash. Great punish into the corner, spending one bar. Oh, oh my God! Shosek Nashman caught in the corner. Oh man, gets baited on one of those JCs again. Okay, it's been a little bit of the heat, getting some moon. Yeah, so it's like Nashman winning the long game for the health bar, but Lucy still has resources to work with. Shield BC, gonna be able to spend some of those resources on this confirmation. So it's like Nashman needs to be so careful, runs a ton of five A's. Lucy has quarter positioning. Gets the knockdown. Oh my god, and a moon drive spent. So it's like Nashman wanted to fight for it. Maybe a little bit of risky decision. I'm gonna be going into this round where the tournament life is on the line without the moon available. One magic circuit on deck. Lucy on tournament point. Fatal counter to start things out. Slam dunk. Mad damage. Oh, no. was it ready for the heat? Like Lucy, uh, she was out of range. It and was just trying to outspace it to get the punish, but doesn't get it. But here we go. I'm getting the. Drops the combo though. We see. Again, heat perfectly. Nice shield wow. for the punish. Basically nullifying that meter spent. Oh. So, drive active, but again, getting a hit, so not a lot of usage right here. Just one last chance of using it, but no, gets hit. Heat, no. 
Abare, getting the hit. Two bars of magic circuit on deck can be used in multiple ways. Get the life back or seal the deal. What will it be? Now we have Moon Drive. Nice, baiting both of it oh. out. Now, Woo! he has so much to work with. Looks like Nash fan. Chip. Oh! Oh, really fishing for these hits. Activates the armor, Lucy. What do you do? Yeah, not opting for the heat at all. Just wants to end it right here. There may have been some situation where Lucy could go for the heat, but just wants to hit. So like Nash fan running away. Flip it all over the place. The throw beat, nothing. Oh my gosh, so like Nash was with me a timeout. Very nice. At least we were just targeting like, you're going to wait for the heat. And you're going to try to shield or something like that. So like Nash fan just blocks. Fine. Oh, yeah, and, oh, oh boy. But not a full combo. Yeah, ready. That just basically has been giving Lucy a moon drive. Nice catch on the back dash though. Looks like Nash fan. Heavy. Life lead, but no the DP. Does he get the full combo here? Wes. Out. Up. Throw. And D3C. AD! Making contact, finally getting a bait. Lucy. Oh my god. Not the biggest combo in the world. Gank it to the corner. Oh! Oh my god! And now it's Osik Nash fan. Able to reset the bracket over a 3 2 set that went all the way down to the last round. Some of the slowest pacing of Melty I've seen before in a tournament set. This is absolutely insane. And Lucy's going to character select. <laughs> Inevitable. This He's is here. The way. Blob is here. Ketchup and mustard blob. Yet again. <laughs> Everything spent early on. Does it get the full confirm though? Catch the jump with that. Nice. Moon drive to catch the heat. I actually catch the landing frames of that. Actual punish as well. Let's take Nash fan. Big life. Lucy having the spacing. Oh, but the counter hit out of the button. Let's take Nash fan getting the round one of this Vlob versus Miyako. Stomp, stomp. I mean, you said it yourself, if they have a stomp, they're top tier, so I mean. Both these characters have a stomp, but <laughs> one is much better than the other, I have to say. Mm. Oh, the missed heat. That's luck. And punish here. What a clash! That typically is a love win, but Miyako able to flash through and get a hit afterwards. Nice heat to stop the pressure there. Oh, so sick Nash man, completely out of resources. Lucy in the range game. All the shield B, so just went for the heat. Ooh, 
final hit of the Rekka hit. Oh man, again. He's getting hit out of the button on the ground. And so sick Nash ran, close it out the round. Going up 1 0. See, again, going back to the character select. Yeah, another one of those like super slow paced games, but Sosik Nash fan able to uh, traverse through it. And I think just like the patience that Sosik Nash fan is able to implement, you know, not forcing the issue, just playing around the footsie and neutral game and matching the pace of Lucy is uh, what's giving them a uh, edge in these last two games here. But um, Lucy going to be making the swap to Roa now. Back of the character. Master of a lot of different characters here. Opting for the full charge. Nice catch on the back dash. Ooh, hello? Ricky. Be here. Getting the roll of combos. Getting a lot of cash out. Oh yeah. Definitely can just play in the charge up game. And still have a threat come full screen. Nice DP. It's gonna be a conversion. That's enough. And what a change of pace with this roll pick so far. <laughs> How did that hit? Punished on the shield drop. Shield again. Doesn't get the full combo. But we're out of the corner. Okay. Lies in the meter for some extra plus frames. It doesn't hit. Oh, that was unfortunate. Doesn't hit the punish. Still invincible, it looked like. So sick Nash man getting the mash. A on the moon drive, working out. Out of there. Alright, oh my gosh, side up in rounds. Lucy just trying to reclaim the momentum in this grand final set. So sick Nash fan. Constantly matching the pace, you know? Yeah. The bar building moon drive. Let's take Nash fan though. Time to approach. Now, Lucy out of Moon Drive. And so it's like Nash fan takes the opportunity to go in with his remaining Moon Drive. Lucy popping Blood Heat. Trying to play this resource game. Slowly, tense, tense, tense. slowly building some gauge. Looks like Nash fan just finally gets a hit after the moon drive is out. DP though. DP back. Oh my gosh, I got one of those two. Nice moon drive to bait the heat. Oh, and catches the back dash as well. And yeah, that's gonna be actually Sosik Nash fan taking the game. Lucy is gonna be dropping, not filling, uh, not filling the rest of the matches. There were some issues with dropping some combos, maybe some net stuff. Um, yeah, Sosik Nash fan's gonna take it 3-0. All right, that'll do it. Good stuff to uh, Sosik Nash fan and Heatwave PS4. This has been oh quite quite the bracket. Despite the 13 uh, that we had for participants, a small but mighty bracket, some great uh, stream matches in and out. But 
pure usual heat wave fashion one bracket down another one to go and with about maybe double i haven't checked it maybe even triple the entrance so um if you're here for heat wave pc thank you for your patience i know it's about 15 minutes off but we're just going to take a moment get things set up and move on into the pc dimension we will see you all soon after a short break so grab some water go to the bathroom and we'll see you all in a couple of minutes for heat wave pc all right gonna be getting off the stream for now Let's 